Hi kids, I'm Grady and this is my assistant, Super Scientist Ruth. I work at the Children's Medical Research Institute where the scientists work together to find cures for children's genetic diseases. Normally I'm in the lab, but today I'm here to show you a cool experiment that you can do at home. The experiment that we're going to do today is to collect strawberry DNA. DNA is the instructions that make us, us. So today we'll be collecting the instructions that make strawberries, strawberries. DNA is tiny, but it's very long, and if we can clump enough of it together, we'll be able to see it. The things that you'll need to do this experiment at home is strawberries, chopping board, a knife, muzzle and wrap, or you can use coffee filters, a Pyrex dish, some toothpicks, a glass, dishwashing detergent, measuring spoons, salt, and we've got some rubbing alcohol in the freezer. The first step is the most fun part. It's where we chop the stems off the strawberries, chop the strawberries up into fine pieces, and add them to the Ziploc bag. This part's fun because we get to mush up the strawberries with our hands. While Ruth is doing this, I'll add a teaspoon of salt to 100 ml of water in the glass and mix to stir. I'll then add a squirt of dishwashing detergent and we'll add them to the mush strawberries. For the next step, we add the salt, water and detergent mixture to the strawberry juice to get the DNA to be released. The next step is to filter out the chunks from the strawberry juice. We're using muslin wrap, but you could also use coffee filter. The last part is the coolest part, where we use ice cold rubbing alcohol to get the DNA to rise up so we can collect it. I have 100 mils of strawberry juice, so I'm going to add about 100 mils of alcohol. The floating parts are the DNA. And then we use a toothpick to collect the DNA. The DNA should feel stringy and look snotty. Now you've done a real experiment, just like a real scientist. If you'd like to find out more about the work that we do at the Samurai, or find some more cool experiments that you can do at home, visit the link below.